What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James Lothixio. Well, welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, of course, it is time once again for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. And today, we've got a couple of cool bits and pieces that I thought we would do today. So, yeah, <laughs> this one's going to be kind of awesome. Last episode, basically, we have now completed the uh, Spirit Bear quest. We've done all 30 of them, which is kind of sad because I did enjoy doing those. And it's a bit of a shame now that we're back to the old repeatables. But yeah, three, two, one, claim the hive. How are you all doing? Are you guys good? I really hope so. Uh, but yeah. So we managed to actually uh, complete all 30 of the Spirit Bear quests, and we now have the third and final Spirit Petal just kicking around, not doing too much. So I thought, you know what, today, let's finish this all off once and for all. Let's go and donate this one, uh, see what rewards we get, all that good stuff. But also, <laughs> this is kind of cool. So yeah, apparently... There's like this new little secret easter egg thing, uh, which is down in this weird void area. Um, it's kind of like a strange place, so I don't know, I imagine most of you guys and girls know that this exists, but if you don't, this should be kind of cool, um, because this is also where the secret drawing is located, uh, and apparently if we go to a certain spot inside this void, we can actually see an easter egg teaser of the tadpole and the vector bee just chilling down there in the void. Um, so yeah, the <laughs> I've had so many pictures uh, of people who have already found this. So yeah, GG. Well done, dudes. Um, and yeah, I thought I would kind of uh, go and show you guys how to find it yourselves if you want to go and check it out. Uh, but ooh, as well as that, guess what time it is? It's time for old Stumpy. Yeah, it's old Stumpy time. <laughs> so is this number 32? I think this is number 32. Um, and yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll see what we get. So we're still on the hunt for that elusive Grandmaster Amulet. One day it will happen, but who knows when. Um, and yeah, I thought we would go and do this to begin with. So I, I think this is number 32. We're going to go with 32. And I think the last one we got was gold. So we've had a bunch of diamonds, a bunch of golds, but we still haven't found that Grandmaster. So as always, what I like to do, I guess it's kind of more superstition than anything, but I, I suppose it does help. Um, we're going to go and get a Baby Love token, boost up our uh, Loot Luck, and then the Stump Snail is on like 20,000 health. Oh, speed! Speed! Go, go, go. I'm going to pop a Stinger just in case. Oh, he's on 14k. Okay, this should be super duper easy. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's a diamond. <laughs> oh, Grandmaster, why? <laughs> One day it will happen. Uh, is it any good? Uh, oh. Goo conversion. Interesting. So I would lose conversion amount, but I would gain plus 7% goo conversion. Interesting. 9%, 9%, 3% boost of pollen. Stump field. I'm actually going to accept this. 3, 2, 1, replace. Yeah, cool. Okay, nice. So, yeah, what else did we get? We got um, two star jelly, 50 tickets, 10 glue, one oil, one enzymes, 25 RJs, uh, 100 gumdrops, uh, 50 pineapples, and 28 million honey. Nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, second up on the list. Oh, I do want to go and... Um, should we go and find the secret first? So yeah, I do also need to go and take down my coconut crab, uh, which is why I've got the demon mask on as well. So I tell you what, let's actually go to find the secret first, because I, I think this might be quite interesting. Um, and yeah, basically, if you've never been to the void before, <laughs> not too sure why it exists. It's really, really strange. But all you need to do is just ride the red cannon and then basically fly straight out of the map over the top of the sprinkler shop. And then you just need to go across this massive blue roof and essentially drop off the end of the map. Um, so yeah, you just drop down here, boom, like that. And then when you turn around, you go slightly in this direction and there is this weird like uh, green overhang with a gap underneath. Now the thing is, is that there's actually a hole here. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, I think there is like a great big square under the whole map. Um, but what I've done is I have ran in straight. So I've ran in this direction. And what I think I need to do is I need to drop down. I'm going to drop down completely straight here. Boom. The music changes when you go down here. It's kind of cool. And then I'm going to go slightly in. Well, let's do it on a compass. So this would be northeast, basically. I'm trying to go. So if we're completely straight right now, I'm going to move over slightly to about that way. 
<laughs> Maybe a little northeast. And I'm going to run forward. So basically, we need to try and get into the very back corner in this direction. So I've only moved like ever so slightly, like maybe 20 degrees to the right. Uh, and this should be roughly about right. So I think we just need to hit the corner. Um, so yeah, we're just going to run and we're going to jump. And hopefully, eventually, <laughs> we'll start to see the corner of this thing. It's just basically a great big huge thing. Um, but yeah, oh, there they are. Oh, okay, we got them. <laughs> Well, that wasn't too difficult, was it? There we go. So, yeah, if you do that, then you should see them as well. I don't know if you guys can see this right now. You probably can't. On my screen, it looks like there's some dust, but it's not. It's the two bees. And every time we get closer, they get bigger, and they get bigger, and they get bigger. Oh, look at them. There they are. There they are. There they are. Here we go. So, yeah, this is the little secret Easter egg. So, we can actually see what these bees are going to look like in 3D. There they are. Hey, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's try and look at each one of them like so this is the tadpole As you can see there, so it's quite nice sort of greeny color and um, this is not the gifted version This is obviously the regular version and then on the back of the tadpole. It has this cool little tail Look at that Ooh, That's a bit big in there. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so there we go This is the tadpole bee now the one thing that you'll notice is that the vector bee is huge compared to the tadpole bee It's massive and I don't know if it's going to stay that way. I kind of feel like maybe it isn't. Um, because then it would look super duper weird, wouldn't it? So this is the vector. As you can see here, it's kind of got like the triangles on the side of its head. Very, very cool looking bee. It doesn't have a tail or anything. These are just the regular versions. But yeah, the, uh, the vector bee is huge compared to the other bees. Kind of. I mean, we can kind of do like a size comparison. I think it's the biggest bee here. Um, so yeah, maybe it is just going to be a bit bigger. I don't know. See, the thing is, I've always wanted, um, if there was one bee that I would have liked to have had, like, much bigger, I've always said it would be amazing to have a queen bee. Um, I just think that would be so cool. But as of right now, we haven't actually had a queen bee. I don't know if that's something that Oni is considering in the future, but it would be incredible, right? Sort of like the queen of all of the bees, like, you know, she has, like, a special ability or something like that. Maybe she could, like, drop more inspire tokens or something. Maybe she, like, inspires the hive. I don't know. Um, but yeah. It's cool, right? So this is the little sort of Easter eggy thing, I guess. Uh, this is the tadpole bee, and uh, this is the vector bee. And yeah, this isn't uh, test realm stuff. This is just the normal game. So uh, if you want to come check them out, then you can. I guess what we could do as well is if you guys wanted to see the picture, I don't know if you guys have seen the picture either. So just in case you haven't, uh, let's go and do exactly the same thing. So yeah, there is like a secret drawing thing. <laughs> It's just like an Easter egg, but it's kind of funky. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go and do exactly the same thing. We're going to fire in the cannon. We're going to go and jump out of the map. We're going to go and find the green overhang. And then this time, if I remember correctly, instead of dropping down the way that we did, we want to turn ourselves around. So we want to drop in completely the opposite direction. So as of right now, if I turn my character this way, that's the direction we went in to get the vector bee. But I think this time around, we need to go this way, roughly. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we pretty much got them right. Um, but yeah, this is also where you find the secret drawing. So we did cover this in a previous video. Um, I think we covered this before the main update, the last update actually came out because this was in the test realm, I think. Was it? I can't remember, actually. Maybe it was. Uh, but yeah, this is just a really bizarre thing that is down here. So this is some beautiful bee swarm artwork. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what you've got here is you've got the coconut crab. I thought this was like a weird bug with like a, a like a, a wrench or something. But no, it's a coconut crab, I guess, because it's like the pincers. You've got like, I guess, on it down here with his, his petal wand and his petal belt. You've got some random bee. You've got one of the bears. You've got stick bug down the middle. You've got the windy bee over here and then you've got the king beetle and then this i think is a vicious bee just over here um so yeah <laughs> i mean it exists it's pretty funky and yeah it's like it's weird it's like 2d so if you turn around one direction you don't even see it and then if you turn around the other direction you do it's weird isn't it look at that how strange is that okay so i'll tell you what we'll do uh let's see if we can get like a decent coconut crab time here so what i'm gonna do as well actually is uh because like you get a bunch of coconuts from this guy so i think i think my current best time is 
Well, I don't know, actually. I'm going to have to check in a minute. I feel like it's 40-something seconds. Um, so we could, like, take that time down, I guess, technically. If we had some more attacking bees, I guess we could do that. I'm going to end crafting there because I want to quickly not waste any coconut. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just make... We normally get about 90 coconuts, so let's make nine tropical drinks. That should be fine. Um, so, yeah, what I want to do is I want to go and head up there now. We could get some more attacking bees and stuff. I don't really want to change my hive particularly, but one thing that I do want to do at some point is I want to maybe get the vicious bee up to level 16, um, or maybe even level 17. It depends how much honey we've got, but right now we are saving up for those new bees and for two new slots. So we've got 200 billion honey again, and that's actually technically enough now to buy slot number 46 and 47. Uh, but I don't know when we're going to do that just yet. I thought we'd maybe just save up for a little while, um, but yeah. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and do coconut crab. So what I would recommend is if you want to try and get your time a little bit better, um, pop some oil. It just gives your bees and stuff a little bit more move speed, I guess. I, I tend to pop oil. I don't know why. I just do. Uh, and then I also pop a tropical drink, but I only do the tropical drink when we get to a high enough uh, focus stack. So yeah, basically we jump inside the, um, the, uh, the, the, the pepper patch and we ha like farm up our focus tokens. So we want to get a full stack of 10, if possible. And that's kind of what we want to do. So uh, yeah, there's another one, there's another one. We're already up to six, which is pretty good. Um, I'm not using my collector or anything. I don't really want to collect honey because the thing is, if you go into the field with a full backpack and you defeat him, it's a bit of a nightmare picking up all of the items because you want to hit those uh, link tokens when you're in the field um, because then that will automatically pick up the drops for you. Um, so you want to try and have some empty backpack space, I guess. So we're just going to keep an eye on things. We need three more focus tokens. Two more. Uh, come on, one more. I'm going to hit some tokens to free up some space. Come on. Yes, there's another one. Okay, there's nine and ten. Okay, I'm going to hit a tropical drink. That's boosting up my critical a little bit. And then what I'm going to do now is pop a stinger. And I'm actually going to take a hit on the first one. There we go. Because that activates my coconut shield. And that means now that my first lot of vicious bee spikes are actually hitting with the damage booster that only happens when you actually hit... Um, the uh, the coconut shield. So it's kind of just a nice way to gain a little bit of extra boost, I guess. But we're going to keep an eye on things here. We're going to try and keep our stacks. Oh, jeez. Took an extra hit then. We're going to try and keep our stacks full if possible. We want three rage at all times. We want ten focus at all times. We want our stinger boost going on. Ah, oh, there's some vicious bee spikes there. You've just got to be careful not to get too close. We want to try and hit those link tokens. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This should be a pretty decent time, I think, all in all. Try and hit those focus. Try not to die. Oh, Melody is in there, but it's a little bit close, but we're going to grab it. And there we go. 52 seconds. Okay, there we go. So our record is 48 seconds. So we have been a little bit quicker, but 52 seconds is not too bad. We get a bunch of items, and as you can see now, because I've got space in my backpack, once I hit those link tokens, it just automatically picks up the drops for me which is really nice. Um, so yeah, they just keep coming for a while. We should have about 80 coconuts, I guess. We normally get about 11 microconverters between 11 and 9. And yeah, 90 coconuts exactly. Uh, okay, 7 microconverters this time. Uh, 90 coconuts, bunch of oil, glitter, 14 tropical drinks, a couple star jellies. Happy days. So yeah, my time right now, 48 seconds. Um, but yeah, I feel like we could go a little bit quicker, I guess, but I feel like we would also need a couple more bees. Um, so, you know, when we expand our beehive, we'll just have more actual bees attacking, which will boost our time up a little bit. Uh, and then also, if we level up Vicious Bee, for example, then that's also going to help. But, uh, yeah, you know what? That's fine. You get plenty of drops from doing it at that speed, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> yeah, 90 coconuts each time is amazing. And the thing is, if you're using them on coconut boosters, which is what I would highly recommend, because you want to keep your backpack as empty as possible, uh, you just do exactly the same thing that I mentioned a few episodes ago, which is use your magic beans to farm the tornadoes for sprouts uh, when you're doing the coconut booster and you basically pick up all of the coconuts you've used um, so you're always going to have like over 100 it's great anyway now that we've done that i think it is about time we go and donate the third and final spirit petal oh it's so sad okay let me just go and grab a million red pollen come on give me that pollen give me that pollen give me that pollen let's go Right, okay, are we ready to go and donate the third and final spirit petal? I guess we are. Uh, so I've got 15 micro converters now, so I'm going to go and do a coconut boost, I guess, in like an hour or two if I can get one. Uh, but here we go. This is the moment 
Would you like to make an offering to the wind shrine? Yes, I suppose we should. Uh, where is it? 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 Cloud vial, magic bean, marshmallow bean. Wait, have I gone past it? I feel like I have. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ta da! <laughs> the spirit petal floats gently up into the sky. The chimes ring. Clouds obscure the sun. The air stands still. You feel as if someone is watching. Suddenly a breeze disturbs your bees. Ta-da! Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So that is the rewards we get from donating the spirit petal. Um, there we go. Boom. So we got... What did we get? We got... Minus one spirit petal, obviously. We got five magic beans, five tropical drinks, five blue extract, five red extract, five oils, five enzymes, one star jelly, and 500 treats. Um, so yeah, this is the thing. Like, I don't actually know what happens now when we donate cloud vials. So I was, I, I was doing some research about it. And apparently now, because we've donated the spirit petal, if we donate cloud vials, there's a chance that we get star jelly as a reward, I think. I think. I want to mess around with it. I haven't, obviously, I haven't tried it just yet, so um, now I guess would be a good time to try it out, but I guess it's a way of getting Star Jelly, but the only thing is, is that Star Jelly isn't that difficult to get, I don't think. I mean, I, yeah, it's difficult to get, don't get me wrong, but I feel like there would be better rewards. Like, I, I genuinely believe, like, Jelly beans would be a better reward than star jelly. I know that sounds mad. Everyone's like, James, no, it's a terrible idea. Don't say that. But <laughs> um, I feel like you get you get a lot of star jelly around the map. Um, I had some star jelly from uh, a brown bear quest a couple days ago, believe it or not. Um, I also got some star jelly from... Was it the uh, polar bear? I can't remember. I have no idea. You also get loads of star jelly. You get star jelly from stick bug. You get it from the coconut crab as well. You get it from the stump snail. I guess these are all sort of more end game things. So I completely understand why people want star jelly. Ignore what I just said. Star jelly is a great reward. <laughs> you rock that star jelly. But then again, you can also craft star jelly. You know what I mean? So you can you can make star jelly in the blender. Um, but yeah, I get why it would be useful. But yeah, there we go. It's all done. It's all done. Sad times. Spirit bear is complete. And uh, yeah. Oh, geez. So, yeah, I've still got some more videos and stuff planned. Don't worry, there's going to be plenty more Beast Swarm. Uh, but in terms of, like, the uh, the main quest content, I guess that is it for now uh, for the Spirit Bear. But who knows when this next update is coming out. So, in case you're wondering about the next update, I have no idea. The only thing that I'm thinking is we've just come into November now. Um, so, last year we had, like, a really nice uh, festive update with the festive bee and we had all of the um translators and the gifts and stuff that you gave to the npcs and the map changed to like super snowy and stuff so uh, maybe we might have another christmas update i mean having something before that would be insane uh, but i don't know i feel like maybe december might be might be where it's at I would like to be proved wrong. Something in late November would be incredible, but hey, who knows? We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, so that's going to be about it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.